and we were going into the nation of Venezuela. And at that time, um, uh, we were supposed to be picked up, and Mike didn't go with me. You and, went with another you woman. You know, I went with woman a woman. And it was about 10 o'clock at night, and I got into this airport, and nobody was there to pick us up. So what happened was the day before cell phones that they closed the airport down and we tried to use the telephone, but we didn't have any for uh, a Venezuelan currency. And so couldn't we couldn't buy a phone card. We couldn't buy a phone card to use the telephone. So we sat down in our suitcases and I told my friends, I think it's time to pray in tongues. I we're in trouble here. So we were sitting there just praying in tongues and this short little nice looking Latino guy came up, looked at us, Mike and said in perfect English, hello, I am here to welcome VIP guests. May I help you? Mm -hmm. And so we go, yes. I mean, really pounced on him, yes. And so we told him we don't have a phone card and nobody's going to pick us up. He said, oh, and he, had, he did like this. I have a phone card. And so he went to the telephone and he said, I'll call the hotel. So he called the hotel and he explained to them our problem. And so he's standing right next to me and I'm on the telephone, you know, and I'm talking, just go like this, talking. And, and so all of a sudden in a lull of the conversation, he taps me on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. He goes, oh, by the way, my name is Luis. And he goes, I'm an angel. And I, so I'm kind of, I'm like, I, I'm talking the whole time. I, all of a sudden I go, you're an angel? And he goes, yes. Do you know from... Up there? Yeah. I go, you're an angel from, from up there? And he goes, yes. I mean, I was, I was shocked, Mike. I mm -hmm. was kind of in a state of shock, you know? And so then, you know, he arranged the hotel was going to send a driver out for us. So we go out and, and uh, the driver from the hotel comes and we turned around to thank the man and he was gone. Mm-hmm.